So one of the biggest complaints that I've heard about the subharmonicon is that when you play in eight steps equal temperament or just intonation, you can't change the key. And when I first got it, that's the first thing I struggled with. And I started looking around and searching on the internet for how do you change the key? They couldn't have made a synth that's just stuck in C. And since I put out this tutorial, I've had a number of people say, I know you're probably gonna get to this, but could you just tell me how do I change the key? There's gotta be a way. And the truth of it is there's not really an easy way. You would expect to be able to do this from the user interface, but you can do it. You can play outside of the key of C. Number one, you could get creative with the notes and subharmonics that you have available to you. And I'm gonna talk about that in some later videos. But number two, you could use MIDI or you can send voltage to VCO1 of the patch bag. So today, I'm gonna demonstrate how you could use either the mother or something like a key step to change the key of the subharmonicon when you're playing in eight steps equal temperament. Since I've got my key step out and powered up, I'm gonna show you how you can play your subharmonicon as a standalone lead synth. But I hope this answers your question if you're looking for how to change the key. All right, let's dive into it. This is gonna be a very short and simple video, but I'm pretty excited because it is a new camera angle. Let's dive in with how you can change the key on your subharmonicon. We're gonna do that through the patch bay. And that's what the VCO1 input is for. One way we can do it, let's start with the mother. So let's go from the keyboard out into VCO1, and I'm gonna play a note on the mother. Right now we're playing in the key of C. To change keys, you can just simply press any th the key you wanna play in on the mother. Now we're in G. And that's how you do it. Now, if you're playing in a different key and you unplug, it goes back to C. So that's the easiest way to do it because you have the mother right there if you have the sound studio, but it also means that you can't play on the mother. So let's use my old school beat up Archuria key step. You could use pretty much any sequencer that has CV outs. And actually, I think you could do this through MIDI too. But let's explain it with the CV outs. So coming out of the key step, I have red coming from the pitch out. And I'm gonna plug that into VCO1. So we're back in our key of C. If I wanna change the key, I simply press on a keyboard note. Pretty cool. So that's how you do it. I think that's the easiest way to do it. If you have any other suggestions, let me know. But since we're here and I'm all set up with my really cool new camera angle, I want to show you a couple of other things you could do with something like the key step. So to play this, play the sub as a synth, all you have to do is in addition to the pitch out into the VCO1, let's take the gate out and put it into the trigger in. And just be careful that you're putting it into the trigger in and not the trigger out. Now you can play it like a synth. To take things even further, you could use the mod out from your key step and modulate something. So let's put it into the cutoff. Now just keep in mind that um, it's gonna adjust it from wherever your cutoff level is. So I'd like it to turn it down a little bit. You could use even use the ARP function.
Also, if you wanted to play a sequence, you could use that mod while the sequence is going. So let's take the trigger out and go back to playing our... Now, I don't know if that's any easier than just turning the knob, but it is what it is. It's kind of fun. So I hope that answers that question for you. If you have better ways to do any of these things, please let me know in the comment section. Let me know what your setup is. I typically sequence through my SQ64. Um, I'll sometimes break out my key step. All right, catch you next time.